Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. This is an all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box below. If you're looking to book a personal reading, that information is below as well. And our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, is on sale 35% off in the Etsy store. That link is below. It's also on Amazon, so check it out. Let's get into this for Cancer. Oh, okay. Cancer, you may have had a painful childhood. You may have had a painful childhood. I feel like for you, this is around family. This is around traveling, going to see somebody or them coming to see you. And you may have pointing out about something that may have happened in your childhood. So let's get into this. We all 12 signs starting with Aries. If you're dealing with an Aries, um, you're speaking a truth to an Aries. You're, you're opening up and being honest with an Aries. If you're dealing with a Taurus, so somebody's somebody's back and forth about being single. This person is, um, they could be juggling the pre-empress here, but I also feel like in this case that they're trying to decide whether or not they want to stay, stay single. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Somebody is um, hesitant to jump in. They're very guarded about jumping into something. If you're dealing with another cancer. Okay, this person wants you to open up cancer. This, they're wishing to hear the, they're wishing to know the harsh truth. Somebody's wishing for the harsh truth here. They want to know the harsh truth about what happened. They want you to be to open up to them. If you're dealing with a Leo, somebody's at a crossroads about a relationship. If you're dealing with a Virgo, they feel like they're trying to hold back a tower moment. It's, I feel like you may be dealing with a Virgo in this situation, and this is like a landslide. This is like a landslide. They're trying to hold back a landslide that's going to knock that tower over. If you're dealing with a Libra, they have a victory closing out a karmic cycle. So whatever, whatever you, they dealt with, if you have a uh, sibling that's a Libra, they've already closed out this cycle. So if you're still dealing with this cycle, they've already closed it out. If you, if you're dealing with a um, Scorpio, they want to end something and just move on. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius wants justice. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Um, they may choose a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius over you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, it's almost like it. It's almost like you're bringing to light. You're trying to balance out bringing something to light, or you're trying to find p peace bringing something to light. Just be patient; it'll happen. Okay. Um, and if you're dealing with a Pisces. Somebody is very trapped in their head about, about the betrayal. So, Cancer, you're going to rain on somebody's parade here. You might be calling out the person who did something to you. You may be confronting parents you may be confronting siblings whatever this is was a painful childhood 
had to do with a painful childhood and it may all come to a head on vacation like a family vacation and i feel like you, you're saying they'll be back they'll be back right this person you like unleashed unleashed the you unleash the landslide and somebody's trying to hold back that landslide from knocking that tower over. So here we go. Okay, so somebody has regrets because there's love here. They do love you. Uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This relationship... They're very, they're having sleepless nights over this relationship. They want to communicate. They, they're wishing to communicate. Somebody was obsessed with sex. There's a, a new, new passionate beginning, obsessed with a new passionate beginning. This person could have been an Aries. Could have been an Aries Leo or a Sag. Okay. Okay. Cancer, I don't know how to put this on the video. But this has to do with somebody doing something inappropriate to you as a child, okay? And they had, they had an issue. They had an issue. They had an issue that they needed to deal with. And they dealt with it in the wrong way, okay? And I feel like for you, you this is about you being um, inappropriately touched or other things, okay? So you're understanding what, you know, this person could have done that. They could have done that. And it's illuminated how unhappy they are about the judgment. They feel like, I don't know if this person's trying to deny the fact that they did something to you, but they're angry that you're calling them out. They're angry that you're calling them out about what they did to you when you were a child. Okay. Um, or somebody around them is angry that you called them out. Um, see there's a confession there's a confession this person's going to admit it because they want the cycle to end i think you blew up the vacation cancer you blew up the family vacation because you you may have called somebody out on what they did to you inappropriately as a kid and um it was a masculine energy this person knew it was risky being around you they knew they had to confess they know they had to confess to what they, they did to end the cycle I don't know if this person is going to tell you that they had issues they didn't deal with. They had open wounds that they didn't deal with correctly. And because of what they did, they, okay, let me explain something. When people sometimes do those things inappropriately, it was because they had them done to them. Okay. So it's a learned process, right? And so if they were, if I, they were inappropriately, inappropriately touched as a child as well, um, they carried that cycle on instead of going in the opposite direction and trying to find healing for themselves. They continued down the path of what they knew, right? And you were just the person that it ended up landed in your lap, so to speak, right? So they knew it was risky being around you because now they know that you may, they, this person has maybe distanced themselves from you for a long time because they feel like you would rat them out. Like, they, like you're eventually going to say what happened, okay? This is a deep going down the rabbit hole. This is going to touch a lot of people. A lot. This is going to touch a lot of people, they're saying. Okay, so this is hitting home to a lot of people. There is burdens, the burden of healing. The burden of healing a situation. The burden of recovering 
emotional communicating about the relationship. So you're being very frank with people about what happened. And this is, this is about your healing process. Nobody can fault you for this. Nobody can fault you for this. You've had a hard time with this whole situation from day one, right? And as an adult, this is your burden of healing you. The burden of you getting over or not even getting over. Yeah, actually overcoming. It's not getting over, it's overcoming, okay? You overcoming something that happened to you, right? And, and this is emotionally communicating about the relationship and how evil it was. You felt like this was evil. You felt like this person was... Um, it kept you up at night. It kept you up at night. It's like you were afraid to go to sleep because of this person. You felt like this person was the devil. Tell me about this three of cups. I feel like you're getting a victory, really doing some soul searching about this, um, reconciling this. This is you reconciling your childhood. Like maybe you're doing the shadow work, Cancer. Maybe this is coming up for you in the shadow work and, and it's something that you really have to, it's being put on you. Your intuition is telling you that you need to speak on this. You need to confront your person. You need to let the family in on this, the, the shit that happened, okay? Um, in order to end the harsh truth of the situation, it will put an end to this. Okay, so I, I feel like for you, this isn't just you speaking out for your own healing is preventing other children or other people to from from having the same thing done. You're you're going down a rabbit hole here. Okay, because this this was heartbreaking to you. It, it also may be heartbreaking to other people who hear it right? Um, because they definitely because it went on for a long time and you're trying to close out this cycle. And you see the opportunity to do it. You see the opportunity to do it. Um, cancer, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. It takes a lot to stand up and take, and, and, and take your power back in a situation that, because you couldn't take your power back as a child, but as an adult, you can slay that damn dragon, okay? You can slay it, okay? And take that opportunity to take your power back here. Well, this wasn't about love at all, but this is about somebody who's definitely doing some shadow work. And this is an opportunity for you to heal. And I feel like this is a very important reading to a lot of people. Okay. Okay. So uh, I, this could have been a step parent. This could have been a family member of a step parent. This could have been a parent. Somebody got a divorce over this and they opened up their heart because they didn't want you to be hurt. They wanted you to know that they were on your side. Okay. So this is about somebody who is taking care of you, taking care of. So there, this caused a tower moment for somebody when they unlocked the answers, when they found out this freaking brought down a tower. Okay, tell me about, you have a parent here. Okay, I'm literally picking up on somebody's physical energy around me. There's a reason why this reading has to come out today, guys. I'm literally picking up on spirit energy around me right now. And this is what's coming out of this. They know their past mistakes. Um, they know. Oh, yeah.
Okay. You have a parent here that is saying to you, I rushed into this situation. I rushed into this family situation. I allowed this door to be open to somebody who I didn't know that well. The relationship kind of took off very fast and they jumped into a relationship with somebody they didn't know that way. Well, they should have stayed single, right? Because they look at it as a past mistake. They feel like they opened the door to this predator to have access to you because they didn't know them because they jumped in or they were foolish. They were foolish here about this relationship and it caused all of this drama, all of the strife and jealousy and calm. It, it just, it was just all drama. This was all drama here. Oh boy. Somebody that I'm reading for, you have a parent that's here with me right now. And this is what they're telling you. They're wanting you to know that I shouldn't have jumped into that situation that quickly. I should have gotten to know this person better because I opened the door to you getting harmed. This person is back and forth about this betrayal. They cannot get this out of their head. It's like a constant loop for them. This is like, I'm feeling a, a, a feminine energy. Like you, I've got a mother around me right now, literally. Um, she was back and forth about this. This is like, it's been infant. It's, it's gone on forever. This is something that has been a constant. This parent is deceased. I want you, I may be real clear about this. You confronting somebody at a family reunion or vacation or whatever the case, this parent is not there. This parent is here with me right at the moment. I'm feeling a feminine energy around me. This is a very strong feminine energy. She's referring to what happened, like overviewing, looking at, looking it over. Um, this is, con you're, you're, uh, you're confronting somebody. This person went back and forth about this betrayal. It caused them a tower moment because of how evil this person is. They didn't see this person. This person was like a wolf in sheep's clothing. This person was a, was a predator. This person preyed on a, 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 single, a single mother, a single mother so they could get access, right? So they could have access to you. This, they look at different things from a different perspective now. I almost feel like they know that you, you've waited a long time to, to find your strength. You've waited for the strength that you needed because you kept quiet for too long, but it was time now for you to have justice. Wow. Okay, guys, that was intense like intense for me. So, um, whoever this resonates with you, whoever this resonates, I send you peace and blessings. Um, okay. First of all, <laughs> this person is in my energy. Okay, guys. Ooh, I got to let that go. Okay, so guys, if that resonates, please uh, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I send blessings to you.